We had seen early prototypes of home VR systems before, but 2016 was the year of VR with three big system releases. The Oculus Rift CV1, the HTC Vive, and the Sony PSVR, each using different tech to power their virtual worlds. So, in no particular order, here's what we discovered when we tore them down. First, let's dive into the Oculus Rift. After four long years of development and a couple of dev kits, the highly anticipated Oculus Rift finally arrived on our teardown table this March. We're seeing stars, well, constellations to be exact. IR LEDs around the front of the headset and back of the headband leave no blind spots for the constellation LED array and no interruption in immersion. Oculus ditched the interchangeable lenses we found in the DevKit 2 in favor of a pair of non-removable asymmetric Fresnel lenses. We also found two OLED displays, each with a pixel density of 456 pixels per inch and a combined resolution of 2160 by 1200. At that pixel density, the average user would need to be about 8 inches from the display for the pixels to become indistinguishable. But thanks to the Fresnel lens design, the perceived distance is great enough to achieve this effect with a much smaller footprint. Next, we tore down the HTC Vive. We were expecting similar head tracking as the Oculus Rift, but were surprised that it used the exact opposite technique. The Rift uses a desk-mounted camera to track IR emitters in the headset, whereas the Vive headset sees light from the mounted IR emitters without actually tracking its location. And a crazy amount of sensors. There are 32 individually numbered sensors on the headset and 24 on each controller. There are two 1080p AMOLED displays with a combined resolution of 2160 by 1200. And unlike the hybrid lenses we encountered in the Oculus Rift, the Vive's lenses appear to have a uniform contour. It also comes with a sunny optical technology made front-facing camera to help merge the physical world with the virtual. After dominating the hardware landscape for forever, Sony decides to throw their hat in the ring of the 2016 VR battle. How does the PSVR differ? Well, unlike the other two units, the PSVR doesn't require you to have a gaming PC, but you'll need a PS4 and a PlayStation eye camera. It has a single 5.7 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Unlike the Rift and the Vive, which rely on invisible IR light for position tracking, the PSVR uses 15 visible light LEDs spread out around the front of the mask and are tracked by the PlayStation Eye camera. And that's the best of our 2016 virtual reality teardowns. Hope you enjoyed them as much as we did. If you're wondering if we put them back together to compare user experiences, my answer to you is you better believe we did. I only threw up a few times, but it was totally worth it. If you want to check out our full teardowns, you can find them at ifixit.com. And if you can't wait to see what makes it to our teardown table in 2017, be sure to subscribe to our channel now. Follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.